This is our deck dinner on April the 25th, 2018. It's the moly sauce on top of mushroom cap stuffed with refried beans um, and a little bit of pumpernickel rye uh, breadcrumbs sprinkled on top. And um, there's asparagus spears on the side and the broccolini, a little bit of cilantro and I cooked this wild rice blend with um, a little bit of vegetable better than bouillon. Bouillon? I've got to get in the habit of actually pronouncing it correctly. Now James's is the same, only um, his mushrooms are topped with cheese. So um, he'll enjoy them a little more, but it's the same meal. And I, while I was making this, I got moly sauce down my shirt, so I'm, I had to change a little bit. So let's see how this will be. So what I did is I made the, um, I made the moly without the nuts, and then I just, um, when I wanted enough for serving, I mixed that with some walnuts, which I'd soaked in water and then rinsed, um, and black sesame seeds I used instead of the regular sesame seeds that we called for. I didn't use any peanuts uh, because James doesn't think it's healthy to eat peanuts, so, um, so I did not put that in. I was going to put almond butter, but it seemed plenty thick enough with the amount of walnuts that I put in, and I tasted it. It tasted good. Um, so it's only the food underneath which is heating the sauce because I don't I don't really like to heat nuts and seeds when I don't have to because um, I don't think it's healthy. We'll see what James says. is great. It's a lot of cilantro. These are actually pretty good. You must have really tenderized them or something. Yeah, I steamed them. Oh, okay. The, so like when bit. I was making the rice, over top of the rice, yeah. I put the steamer thingy. Yeah, they probably lost quite a few goodies that mm -hmm. way. Uh, so it goes. Mm -hmm. you, how did you prepare them the other way? Uh, quick fried them or something? Over a low heat, so well, ordinarily, the other we way don't is eat healthier, way, but you don't yeah. like it that way. I notice, so well, you gotta eat them that way. I don't mind them that way, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's not as though it's retching over there. I know, but they were the last thing to disappear off the plate, and it was taking a long well, time. Well, it's not so much a bad taste, it's just uh, they're springy and hard to work. It's the same reason why I'm not a huge fan of cilantro, it's. It's not like I didn't spinach. Put spinach much. is sometimes I just put a little like cilantro is kind of spinach. It's kind of springy. I just used it because this is a Mexican, I guess, kind of flavored dish. And, uh, I just used as much as I would have put for a parsley garnish. So these are a similar stuffed. Mushrooms as yesterday, or is it a different recipe? Totally different. Okay. I did refried beans. Okay. In there, and then, then I baked them up just the same. Holy frijoles. Mhm. Mm so I'm gonna put the, uh, the gravy type stuff on the rice. Mhm. Mm 
Yeah, I put enough for both, both the mushrooms and the rice. I hope. That's pretty good gravy. What was in it? Did you put some nuts in it? Mm-hmm. And chocolate. Wow, that's interesting. That's very Mexican. And peppers and tomatoes. Yeah. And onion. Um, I can't really remember. I think garlic, a little bit of cloves. You know what? I can't really remember. I think that's about it. Stuffed mushrooms are pretty good. Mm -hmm. Enthused. Well, there's another three waiting for you. restaurants or anything. How come? If we'd been wealthier, you wouldn't have wanted to take me out of public. Because I eat with my hands more than the utensils. I don't care. The trouble with fancy restaurants is the people inside are dressed fancy, but they're not fancy. Nor not. listening to that audiobook. That's well done. Sure. Jumps back and forth. Mm, well, I wouldn't enjoy reading that one. I'm glad mm -hmm. we're listening to it. I enjoy reading it. Yeah. It's funny, he was talking about Jane Jacobs. It is uh, a book we took as a text for mm -hmm. Archaeology of the City. And um, she was talking about how she couldn't understand why the Hudson River the Connecticut River hadn't been used uh, for building big cities on, like the Hudson River, New York. Mm. I was saying, man, oh man, doesn't she reach, New York was like, I think, her home city or something like that. Mm -hmm. And Bryson's talking about what made New York, he was saying it wasn't as big as Philadelphia or Boston, it was the north and south of it. He said what made it was the Erie Canal, and that was my criticism of her. Mm -hmm. The Hudson River is connected to Lake Erie by the Erie Canal. That, that became the major avenue to the west. And that's what made New York grow fast. I didn't know it's what made it grow fast. But I could just tell from geography that that's what would have made it big. Mm -hmm. Lots of mushroom stuff in my fingernails. Yeah. They look yeah. gross. It's as though you've been working in the yard. Well, <laughs> mushrooms are kind of like a portion of the yard brought in. Holding on to the heat. Yeah, I don't like vegetables cooked this much. It's terrible. But the broccoli? All of it? Mm -hmm. mm. I do like stir fry. You and I have very different tastes in how things should be prepared or whatever. So what do you like? Mm -hmm. Stir fry? I, yeah, I like, I like it raw a lot of, a lot raw of the time little. or barely cooked. Okay. Mm. When I go to Bonanza, what do I want? I get is like a a bean thing. Is 
just because it's the only thing with all the beans in it. Right? So mm -hmm. it has some sort of it's. Uh, oh, I love bean salad. Yeah. You know, so yum. That's the only salad I get. So I like things raw, mm -hmm. not juice. So. Yeah, I don't like beans raw. So it's probably a good thing that we're cooking all these beans right now, or bean dishes. Because then maybe I'll just supplement the raw vegan sort of meals with a little bit of the bean dishes. Because it's also healthier to eat tomatoes cooked rather than raw. Now that's a strange thing. I know. In most things it's not the case. But it actually makes the lycopene more absorbable or something like that. I've heard. Yeah. So. Well, it's a good thing I like tomato prepared pretty well anyway. I can't think of it. Mm -hmm. I like tomato soup. I like tomato sandwiches. I like tomato paste. Uh, this was a bit tomatoes. much food for me. I should really stop right now, but since I went and ate the yummy bit first, I don't know what I was thinking. I'll eat some of the healthy stuff. Well, it's all healthy. But yeah, I didn't use any oils when I was making that. But there's a lot of fat in it because of the nuts, right? And the sesame seeds, but it's black sesame seeds. So I feel totally virtuous. Yeah, speaking of cooked veggies, I didn't, when I, I used to like peas in the pot. Mm -hmm. I hate cooked peas. I used to like fresh carrots. I hated cooked carrots. Yeah. I still do. I hate cooked vegetables. Unless they're hidden in some sort of a soup. Because I love soup. Yeah, I used to hate vegetables. I could eat soup for every meal. Now there's some veggies I hated raw and cooked like turnips and parsley. Mm. Asparagus is so gross when it's cooked this long. It's like almost baby food. It's a little bit uh, sloshy. Yeah, totally. Should have taken that steamer and cut off the thing a long time earlier. It's disgusting. Well, I wanted my food. Yeah, they're starting to congregate. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering when the wasps are going to start. I make less of a mess of myself when I use my fingers to eat rather than a fork. It doesn't make any difference. I'm way more likely to drop the food on myself before I think. I think so long as the person washes their hands. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bryson was talking about some of the manners they have to right? Mm -hmm. Saying like, it's okay to wipe your fingers on the tablecloth, but please don't blow your nose. That's good. Yeah. Well, I eat most of the vegetables. I save the prettiest looking ones.
I really should bring a knife out. Those mushrooms are hard to get through. Oh. Have I been putting enough cheese on them for you? Oh, that's great. Okay, good. Tomorrow, I'm going to make a bit different sort of... I don't know if I'll even get this mushroom stuff out of my fingers. See, I pureed it with the food processor, and then I use my hands to scoop it out of there. Don't go in me. Um, anyway, tomorrow I'm going to make a, another stuffed mushroom dish, but it's going to be an Asian sort of stuffed mushroom. So that one will not have cheese on it for you, I'm afraid. We haven't been eating enough cabbage sort of things lately. Probably should eat it yeah. a couple of times a day. Well, I meant to put sauerkraut on your plate again, but I forgot. I already <laughs> ate my kimchi today, so... And I ate a lot. I've been eating... When I eat kimchi, it's like half a cup of kimchi. I love it. That one is not mine. It's not a good dog here. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's, it's not likely to be one of yours. No. You don't have very many to spare. No, I don't. <clears throat> anyway. Huh. It was a good day. Got Busy. Some, yeah, I got some drawing done in the morning. I drew a piece of cheese. Yeah, you do still lots now. It was boring. But I'll probably benefit from it, so. I am happy that I'm able to learn so many different things, thanks to our local public library and Andrea's willingness to get all these great courses in for me from Edmonton. You must have been hungry too. Uh, recently. But or are you just enjoying the food that I'm much? Enjoying. That's it. So I found something you liked. With cloves in it. I didn't even taste the cloves. Yeah, well there's not. So that's much. good. That's good. Like, well, more than you would expect. Maybe about a quarter teaspoon in the whole pot. Okay. But a little cloves goes a long way. Okay. Yeah. And I used some maple syrup to sweeten it. Well, Not much. It didn't take minutes, much so. need for sweet and as far as I was concerned. That was very good. You know, save my. Yeah, I know. Sludgy. Well, it's broccoli and well, it's broccol broccolini and, and asparagus. And I don't know which one was more disgusting. Well, I see the asparagus. That one's yeah. broken. There we go. Yeah. Because <coughs> I overcooked it. It was terrible. <laughs>